And if you close your eyes Does it almost feel like you've been here before? Yes, it probably does Because I've literally made this video 36 times. Well, everything I make ain't that great. But you guys rule with a house and a pool. With a house and a pool. With a house and a pool. <laughs> but just like small vehicles, there's always room for one more. The biggest coincidence, after five years of YouTube videos, I finally told you guys how tall I was. Listen, I am 7'1", and when I was a baby, they thought I was even taller. Just like a week later, PewDiePie video, 7'1". You understand? Coincidence of my life. Possibly hashtag Illuminati Bobby. Mm. Without any further ado, let's get started. And let's get some logos torn aparted. Okay, first design comes to at us hard and fast from our man Tim Tognacci. This is for a, his YouTube channel. If you're into woodworking and you want some approachable projects, go over there. This design is pretty cool, Tim. You have one logo, two logos, three logos, and then you've pulled it all together with a fourth logo that's been repeated three times. What happens is, we zoom out some, these very heavy saw blades overwhelm the icons that are inside. What I would like to do is just, is just take one, you know? There's no harm in having just a simple logo. Yeah, I think they just need some new font. It doesn't really say casual, it's a little bit industrial. So, I'm gonna go font shopping. Okay, Tim, this is the font that I will be using for your logo. It is, uh, it's called Hawks. We're just gonna do a standard stack. Casual builds. I think you already have all the elements of like a logo. But what you currently have is just um, a little too many elements put together. Like the screw, the screw a little bit bigger. You know, I kind of want to like angle stuff. So it feels like things are a little bit more in motion. I also had an idea to have kind of a screw head. Ooh, go, ooh, two, three, four. Congratulations, your friends on LinkedIn. Okay, and then we fill this in. Nice, looks perfectly unequal. That in itself is pretty cool. You see that just extra touch of one other thing makes it so much more playful and uh, lifelike. YouTube icon, you know, a lot of them use orange. I'm gonna give you orange, you know, home to pot, all those construction channels and stores. There's nothing wrong with orange. Contrast to make it stand out a little bit more. Bing bong. Bang. I think it'd be sick if we make this like a, we can put our orange down here. So it's kind of like a wooden plank that this is getting screwed into. And then this one, we can put um, the orange in the handle. So these are two options I would suggest, but your icons are already there. You already have great logos within this logo. So I didn't think it was, it was any need to, you know, like add on anything. Um, yeah, so I will give you three ping pong claps. Very good job. Uh, thank you so much for sending this to me. I wish you the best of luck with all your projects. All right, design champos, vote now in the poll. Think the original is the best? Do we think screw boy, this one, or do we think hammer girl is, is, is the one? So hammer girl, screw boy, or original? Vote now or forever hold your peace. Thank you. Okay, numero dos comes to us from my, from the big man himself, Dawson. He said this is a uh, a logo for his esports team at his high school, and it says Bomb Squad. But his teacher's name, his teacher's last name, I guess, would be Bomb. Okay. So first off, I just want to I want to give it a little bit more life, and then I want to make it a little bit higher contrast. Give it that energy and explosiveness uh, <laughs> that you need for 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 the team and the esports logo that you're going for. So um, yeah, all that being said, really great start. I love the character and everything. I am going to uh, just just remove this for a second. And now this one has an outline. I'm gonna beef up the outline a little bit. So I can make all the outlines the same. I want the the helmet part to be a little bit more noticeable. So I'm going to take the helmet and this the the shoulder part. We're gonna make them a little bit lighter gray. All right, I'm gonna take this area around his face. We're gonna make it really dark. That's a good start. Now for the face. So this is a really good uh, human skin tone. I'm not gonna change the tone of the skin. I'm just gonna add more life to it. 
humans have, you know, blood running under our skin. So we need uh, a little bit more red in there. See that? It just gives it a little bit more life. Um, and then this one, we're just going to take the color, make it a darker version. So when you make a shadow of a color, just go down and to the right. Boom. Okay. Now I want to, I'm going to work on the eyes here. And I'm going to get rid of this one and this one. Eyebrows, I suppose. Maybe I'll go like th these ones. That's kind of cool. Oh my gosh, Zimri. What cool eyebrows you have. Two eyebrows, sick. Now we're gonna have some eyes in there. Okay, then I'm gonna give a little bit of white circle to really bring the life. But we lost some of the aggressiveness you had from that little zoop on the, on the thing. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna make a little triangle for the scrunched nose part. Scrunch on the left side, scrunch on the right side. That's the good side. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. We're gonna make a little um, thing to show that there's a nose here. Mm, honestly, I don't think so. But you never know till you try. Okay, now the mask part's at an interesting spot because it's kind of like you should be able to see his mouth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna bring it up quite a bit. Okay, this is pretty sick. All right, all right, we gotta add some text. Boom, squad. All right, put them in line. Um, okay, okay, let me find a font. Okay, I found this one. It's called Commando. I'm gonna make this one white, actually, and then I'm gonna make one behind it. And for that one, we're gonna give it a black outline, okay? And then we pump that up. Look at this. Okay, we've made good progress. I'm gonna add like a, like a zoom, zoom, something to really bring the energy. And we'll make it like red. Yeah, let's just make it red. How red? All the way. Okay, so there's very minimal changes, but I think I was able to insert some energy into your, your design, man. So Dawson, very good job. Keep keep going with Illustrator. It's clear you're, um, you're pretty artistically talented. Excellent work. Thank you so much for sending this to me and I wish you the best of luck with your team. Design champions, let me know in the poll right now whether we defuse the bomb, that's good, we made it better, or whether we blew it up. Mmm, scrub jub. All right, next design comes to us all the way from a different place. It <laughs> comes to us from Valeria, possibly Valeria. I don't know, they're both cool names. Um, all right, she said this was for her, um, she wants to sell scrunchies on Instagram. That's cool. I'm in the wrong business. I really want to sell scrunchies on Instagram now. <laughs> Val, your design is really cool. It's really playful. Um, so we just have to think about like Instagram and helping people know what it is. So I think the idea is like a, the combination of a scrunchie and a cloud. So the first thing I want to do is I don't think it really needs this um, dark border here. All right, next step, scrunchies are incredibly difficult to draw and incredibly difficult to illustrate. So, uh, very good job. But um, I think right now we just need to make it look a little bit more like a scrunchie. Um, so, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just, I'm gonna try to draw one. <laughs> good idea, Sim. Good idea. Got yourself into a good position here. You have to draw a scrunchie. Okay, listen. They haven't figured out how to get a man to Mars yet. So I feel like I should get leeway on not really being able to make the best looking scrunchie. But um, it doesn't look terrible. Okay, yeah, you just join up right there. Nice. I think the only thing, you know what? There's a little goat in here. I'm gonna give a little hidden goat into your scrunchie. Leave a comment as to what the scrunchy goat's name should be. It doesn't have to be a goat, but we're gonna call it a goat. Okay, okay, here we go. Nice, I think since it's a cloud, Val, we should make the background like a, like a light blue, you know, cause it's like a sky. Yeah, you feel, you feel me? You vibing with it? Okay, now we're gonna fill it with white. Shoo, oh yeah, perfect. You know, when I was a child, I never colored in the lines. There we go, hair cloud. And there's a sheep in there. <laughs> this is the best thing I ever made. 
Um, yeah, but those are the changes I would suggest. Um, I hope it's still in line with kind of the playful style you were going for. I really like uh, I really like your work a lot already. I think the uh, font was really awesome and that extra zoop to the O was legitness. Take me back to rap in 1998. So Val, I will give you three cheek claps. All right, design champions, vote now. Did I hair cloud it? Or did I hair drown it? Ooh, pretty sure I used that one. Okay, next one. This one comes to us from Keanu George. This one is very interesting, Keanu. I think we need to understand a little bit more about the construction industry. So welcome to my class. Here, I'll tell you a little bit about the construction industry. This one, if you use this hammer icon in a logo, it's pretty good for just a, a small time general contractor, someone you might hire to like, remodel a room in your house or something along those lines. This is called an excavator. It's a large piece of machinery. It's pretty expensive. So these two icons mean very different things within the construction industry. <laughs> okay, my point is these two icons sh shouldn't necessarily be used in the same logo. And then um, secondly, this logo is kind of an awkward logo unless it's an excavation company. Okay, so anyways, that being said, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna grab this Maynard's construction and I'm gonna stack them because um, the best thing to do if you have long words and two long words is, you know, stack them so they just fit a little bit better. And I'm gonna do that. And then, since I don't wanna change your logo too much, I am going to keep your excavation arm interesting. But I think you've lost like a lot of detail in through here. So one thing I'm gonna do is zoom, 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 zoom. And then hopefully when I turn this white, it'll look a little bit more crisp, right? Yeah, and then I could add a little bit of a circle here for the for the hinge motion. And then we're gonna make a little white box here. So we'll put Maynard's up top. Okay, Keanu, those are the changes I would suggest for your logo. Um, the thing I wanted to do was, you know, you already have the name Maynard's Construction below, and then you also have the initial. So it's kind of a redundancy, but but uh, the thing on your logo is just like the entire name of Maynard's Construction is a lot, lot, lot smaller down there than, than the MC. Thank you so much for sending this in, Keanu. I will give you four extended arm claps. All right, design champos, vote now in the poll. Did I Maynard construct it or did I Maynard deconstruct it? Thank you. Okay, let's move on to today's winner. Today's winner comes from Leah Greenwood. Leah, this is so cool. This one is really cool. I love the owl. I love the layout. The stars on the sides are super cool. You could get rid of this line if you want, but yeah, I don't know. It doesn't really matter because it flows into the bird at the bottom. Um, yeah, so I love this one. And uh, this color scheme is very cool too. Just, you know, it just depends. I think you said you were at like an art and design school. So if you are, then yeah, push it with this one. This, this color scheme is really cool. And it, it plays on the idea of like an owl coming out at night. I think that's a really good idea. You are the winner of today's YGR. YGR 37 goes to Leah Greenwood. Very good job. I love this owl. Um, it's really something cool. If, if I saw that, uh, uh, logo on like the learning center door. I'd be like, oh, that looks cool. What can I learn there? <laughs> okay, boys and girls, thank you so much for being here. I'm going to try to make videos much more often. So don't forget to like for a free Gucci Berg. It's like a, it's a half of a burger. So, you know, it's, it's not quite as expensive as a full Gucci burger. It's affordable for the common man. Big ups, Will Patterson. Big ups, Keanu Reeve. Everybody, I hope you're staying safe and healthy. I will see you next time. Stay awesome, possum, and I'll see you later. Crocodile. <laughs>